I've come today to meet others in this field, listen, listen to the research that's been done, which has been fascinating so far. How do we tell stories around climate change through images? Climate Outreach, we are a charitable, politically neutral think tank that, that focuses on public engagement with climate change. What does it mean to, to say we want to catalyse a new visual language for climate change? I think it's hugely important because people believe what they see with their eyes. We've talked about how we talk about climate change a lot, but how we portray it I think is, is much newer and much less thought about. Over-reliance on certain types of imagery like polar bears and smokestacks actually works to turn people off what we want to talk about and what the conversations that we'd like to have. And so finding ways to talk anew with new visuals and new ways of communicating I think will help reinvigorate our relationship to our audiences. I think we need to understand each other and I think we need to understand somebody else's point of view. Uh, mainly because when it's visual, everybody depicts it in a very different manner and you interpret it in very different manners as well. It matters who's in the image, but it also matters how different sets of people are likely to respond to those images. Having such a diverse group of people from so many different backgrounds, seeing how different people, be they journalists or artists or scientists, how they engage with the images around climate change has been yeah, really interesting. I believe that the success of these projects was because they're, they're people-centered and because they're driven by a human narrative. It's a really different experience to look at a person in a picture and realize that climate change is about people and not just about science and sort of politics and things that are a bit removed from, from you and where you are. NGOs have played a large part in shaping how climate change is visualized. I would argue that the digital media landscape is, is changing that slightly mainly because there are now more voices being heard, there are more platforms on which to, to show these images, and because there's, there's such a huge influx of imagery, there's almost a striving to be different. People like us are going to be experiencing the impacts of climate change more in our lives. I suspect that in the future, these are the kind of images and the kind of stories we're going to be telling about climate change, which is really taking photographs of the everyday and possibly as the everyday has changed and influenced by climate change. I think I'll actively try and think about the seven principles, but before, I guess you don't have a framework for thinking about what images you use when you're talking about these things. And to have that framework, it's a really good starting point for me to think about the pictures I use. We put together a website full of images, full of galleries that illustrate these seven principles. You can find different galleries that relate to different aspects of these principles. We want to get this to be the kind of go-to portal to use for finding climate images that, that, that speak to a range of different aspects of climate change. Our challenge from here, I think, is, is to push the envelope on climate change stories, to push the envelope of what it means to be impacted or what the solutions are for climate change. I hope that people will use the principles of communicating climate change visually creatively. So not just thinking about, for example, uh, wind turbines and solar panels as solutions, but actually thinking about presenting images of what the future might look like as we're tackling climate change, or thinking about how it affects our everyday lives in new and un unexpected ways. I think that would be great to see. It's just so quick. If we can change this kind of visual image of what climate change is in a lot of people's heads, that has to drive action on climate change. Ultimately, it's about whether the message gets through and how you connect with an audience. And how we balance that local with global while still keeping people engaged is our sort of challenge, is our, is our test.